It's finally time, Bizarro Anthony Smith finally gets a rematch about five years in the making. We have Uzbekistan, Zarovic Bogdan Guskov, and he's making that debut, replacing Azamat Mirzakhanov in a little under a month's notice, taking on the ninth ranked light heavyweight, former title challenger, Madam, as red as my shirt. Fire. It is no time. I feel like Dana White talking about Conor McGregor right Ustamir. now. Ustamir, the reigning! We don't need you to burst a blood vessel. Defending! Matt, this is a big time fight at light heavyweight because for Bogdan Guskov, with the fact that he has a loss and is five on in, that is the last five Two fights. Two pretty good fighters. For those who are uninitiated, it was Vyacheslav Vasilevsky. And in that one, he gets walked down in the first round and knocked out cold. And Matt, I have a problem with this fight. And I don't zero. do this in most, in most fights. Matt... Volkan Uzdemir, he loses that title shot. He's, what, 3-6, and six, including that title shot loss. He was 15-1 going into the fight against Daniel Cormier. He knocks out Misha Serkinov in under a minute, knocks out Jimmy Manoa in the same, and he hasn't really been the same since, even though in some of the losses, like the Yuri Prohashka first round, he's rocking him twice in the fight that he had against Pick Your Fighter, Ustamir's having success, and then he ends up losing. And Kalaya fight rallies back in the second round, gets knocked down in the first round. But... For Bogdan Guskov, Matt, I go through and I watch these fights. Trains out of ATT Moscow and uh, another smaller gym, Gore MMA. But he trains a little bit with Johnny Walker, like recently. That's cool to see. He looks like Anthony Smith and Fedor if they merge together. That's cool. He's got an awesome back piece with a bear and a skull. Are you going to say awesome. anything good about his fighting or maybe just Bogdan like Bogdan Guskov walks guys down square, doesn't throw kicks, throws single shots, but when he lands the right cross, guys go down and everybody he's beaten that I've seen are awful. He's crushed so many cans in Russia. I can't disagree with anything you've said. But Volkan Ustamir is in a weird point of his career. A lot of fighters, after they do reach a title shot, it's like, okay, where do you go from here, right? You've got to the, not the top of the mountain, but you've at least challenged for a title. Where do you go? How good are you going to look? Volkan Ustamir reminds me a little bit of Trey Turner this season, I guess. Trey Turner had no confidence with the Phillies, right? He wasn't playing well, he wasn't feeling himself. So the Philly fans bought billboards, they cheered him like there was no tomorrow, and all of a sudden, guess what? Trey Turner started feeling better about himself, and he's going off. He's playing very well. So I do think confidence plays a part not only in everyday life in sports as well and for Volkan Ustamir when he's that confident moving forward striker who isn't concerned about the things coming back his way he can have a lot of success but I gotta go back even further to when you bring up the knockouts against Manoa he didn't look good against Ovin St. Preux. I know he beat OSP in his UFC debut, but to this day, to this day, I think OSP won that fight, to be completely okay. clear. Because Usmir wasn't the guy moving forward. He was more than happy to back up. He had his back against the cage, and he really just got lucky that OSP doesn't have crazy volume in that matchup, because neither guy really rocked each other. They were going tit for tat with their strikes. So for Usmir, there really is those two levels to his game. It's, hey, am I going to move forward, and can I at least accept the fact that I'm going to eat some damage? I think that's a really important thing with Ustamir because if he's not worried about what's coming back his way, he can be that destroyer. But once those doubts start to come in his mind of, hey, do I have to defend a takedown? Do I have to watch out uh, defensively moving backwards? Oh. Then I think guys can have success. He defended double he digit takedowns take against defense. Paul Craig and well, we saw that. Daniel Cormier but, defended a lot. Yeah, the, the the problem for Volkan Ustamir, you even go back to his first pro loss with Bellator against Kelly and Knudsen, NCAA champ wrestler. Too far back, he gets taken down, he gets submitted and then you look at Cormier and you look at the fight against Nikita Kruger love the last time out and Volkan credited with the takedown of that one but to his detriment it was the takedowns of Krilov and that was the reason why Uzdemir lost but his fight against Paul Craig he's able to win defend the takedowns and land his strikes you go back and you look at Uzdemir against Rakic did he really win that fight you look at the OSP win did he really win that fight Bogdan Guskov if we can focus on it for him he's out of Uzbekistan and he comes in and again he's knocked everybody out he's looked amazing all of his wins by finish I think he's got what one submission win but for Guskov we go from his last fight back takes on 41 year old former Bellator vet Carlos Eduardo who's one in six in his last seven fights since 2020 against Eduardo tall and square he gets taken down by a double leg. In the opening seconds, he gets back up, lands a one-two. The right cross is the one that does Eduardo in. You look at Guskov's fight that he takes on uh, Ali Reza Vafayev, who's four and one, never beaten a 500 fighter, hadn't fought in almost 300 years, 300 years, hadn't fought. He's a vampire. Hadn't fought in three years. Right cross, face plant knockout. Bogdan Guskov taking on Abdul El Wahab Said, who is seven two and one. You go and look at his record. He beat six fighters who were 0-0 and one fighter who was 1-0. And in that fight, 
Saeed's having success on the outside. Strachan, Bogdan closes the distance. He's able to get the win. I looked at Guskov all through and through. Combined opponent record was 79-48-2. And, and you might go, well, that's good. Well, just like Charlie Day and Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Carol! I'm just connecting all the dots. The best win that Bogdan Guskov has by the numbers. He beat a man who was 13-3-1 named Nurlan Tukubabiev. Whose best win was over a 7 and 2, Abdul Kasim Yulubov, who had never beaten a 500 fighter. Bogdan Guskov's record is built on. It's built on sand. I'm not disagreeing with a single thing you're saying, but Vulcan doesn't have crazy volume, can get taken down, even though I do think he has pretty good takedown defense, all things considered. Maybe the defensive grappling isn't on par with some of his peers, but for the most part, he does have fairly good uh, defensive wrestling, unless you are like a Daniel Cormier or a Krylov who can really uh, implement his volume along with his grappling. But Ustamir, like this is the time you want to fight Vulcan Ustamir if you're a light heavyweight on the rise. He's like... He's like our truth kind of at this stage of his career. He could just be a jobber that they're trying to get other people to gain a name off of. And I get it. Gavarov is not this guy who I think is going to go on. Guskov, sorry. Is not a guy who I think is going to go on and do great things in this division. I just think if there's a single opponent that you want right now, yes. it's probably Volkan Uzdemir. The reason why I have Uzdemir in this fight, if it wasn't clear, Guskov, could he land that right cross? 100% he could. He's got knockout. Like, you, he hits a guy once and they go down. Even if they're not good, it's very hard to drop grown men at 205 pounds. He hits them with that right cross, they're done. His fight against Vyacheslav Vasilevsky, it was a main event with AMC Fight Night. And in that one... He's getting walked down, and he's doing a little bit of an Anderson Silva square. Only Vasilevsky lands one jab, and it drops Guskov. He gets back up, and he gets hit. He gets dropped one more time, and he's knocked out cold. That jab that was able to land dropped him. So I don't like Guskov in this fight. I know he's a slight underdog. We look on topology, 63% of Uzdemir. For the 37% that have Guskov, they're astute. 80% have him to win by knockout. Guskov, to me doesn't have very good head movement he's very square and he doesn't move all on the feet Uzdemir the trouble if you like him and it might sound like I like him in this fight when he walks around and moves he holds his hands out here and he walks around like this he plods forward so Uzdemir training another camp at All-Stars in Sweden because you saw him go for his native Freiburg in Switzerland down to hard knocks had the issues in the states so didn't really sound like they were his fault allegedly but he hasn't been back since so he's training in sweden for this one we'll see what another camp looks like for uzdemir but do i have a guy who's two and three in his last five versus a guy who's four and one in his last five you're gosh darn right i had polar pop vulcan uzdemir i have uzdemir but i see this much cl again uzdemir's not no time anymore i don't think he's vulcan uzdemir you can beat Vulcan. You can't beat No Time. He's, like, he's, no he's, Time will destroy you. He's drinking his coffee on the bench. He's throwing bur uh, bread to the birds. It's it's. I got some time, Vulcan. Do you think he stole that from Damian Lillard? I think he you might You mean have. Dame Dalla? <laughs> you mean a guy who's like one of the best athletes in the world? I have Vulcan Usamir, but again, hopefully I've thrown up enough red flags. Because it's a guy who's not in his prime anymore. At least I don't believe he is. Because he doesn't have that killer just march you down, throw the combinations. I like the left hook to the body, too. He used to throw that quite a bit to go along with the right up top. If we do see all those parts to his game, then yes, Usamir could win this one. But if we see the tentative version of Usamir to where he does have his back up against the cage, he's just trying to measure and land that big right hand, then I could see him losing this matchup. Will we get the Latifi version of Usamir? He looks so good in that fight. Will we get Bogdan? Guskov coming off a string of wins over guys who aren't that great for his first action in about six months on short notice Matt both of us going with some time down on levels the Lord allows it's Dame Dalla Vulcan Uzdemir to get the win some big time fights in this card listen Rose Namajunas is going to be taking on Manoff Yoto you're not going to want to miss it keep it locked in with fight name picks we always say let's, let's get, get into it, it.